Hi everybody, I'm David. I'm Haley. We're here in the Intelligent Concrete Lab talking about things we do in the lab and what they mean and how we use them. Exactly, yeah. So today we're going to be talking about chemical shrinkage, ASTM C1608 versus the shrinkage bars. What ASTM is that? Don't know. I'd have to look it up. Hold on. So ASTM 1608 versus ASTM C157, which is mortar bar, or, yeah, mortar bars, right? Or they can actually have aggregate in them. Oh, really? You can screen, you can screen down to three eighths and use a bigger, uh, a bigger bar for that. Cool. To measure, and I guess that's sort of the point of the story. Mm -hmm. Is you know, for myself, having come from the design side originally and being a structural engineer. I'm looking for parameters that I can relate to in the real world. I'm looking for that scalable number that, that I can change and use. So the big bars with aggregate are the more smaller mortar bars. I mean, they measure a strain, mm -hmm. and cracks in the field come from strain. So if I want to know the, um, particularly the early days, the early life of the structure, you know, it's going to heat up, it's going to expand. It's going to harden and be more restrained and want to shrink. It wants to shrink, that's actually a tension. It wants to, if you think, you know, as it wants to pull away, but it's restrained, that gives you tension. That causes those early tension cracks. And so, what I want to know is how much strain am I, am I going to get? Do I need to design for in a slab, in a floor, um, you know, even in a beam? How much strain do I have to design for? Uh, to make sure I, I've got a safe design. Now ACI, of course, has some guidelines on strain mm -hmm. um, that they give us, and that's not to say that they're bad, but you know, it's, this day and time as we move through more exotic mixes, I mean, you know, and we have more add mixtures and we have um, high early strength that's self-consolidating. We've just got a lot of things to consider yeah. that um, maybe do and maybe don't agree exactly with the assumptions made in ACI 318. So 318, a good guide. I mean, we've built thousands of structures with it, safe structures. But when we're developing these more exotic mixes, it's good to have these basic parameters that we can use in design. So um, that's not to say the 1608, the, the um, is chemical shrinkage thing. It's not to say that that's esoteric. I mean, it's not to say it's useless or whatever. But yeah. You know, if you're a mix master, uh, you know, we have one of the few true mix masters in, on the Earth's surface, Dr. Belkowitz. You know, if you're, if you're at that expert level as a mix master, then you consider these parameters when you're designing and designing new products, mm -hmm. designing these mixes. And so um, the last thing you want is a brand new idea, a brand new mix, a brand new admixture, a brand new cement. Uh, maybe you're using a new fly ash, you're using a new so, sec, secondary cementitious, um, then maybe uh, maybe you need to go to the lab and do some work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, to wrap up what David's saying, I, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's have a summary of that long, yeah. long ramble. Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> so, chemical shrinkage really only tests the the reaction of the cement in the water right. opposed to the actual concrete mix with sure I mean we're gonna add sand we're gonna add small gravel large gravel we're gonna mm -hmm. add all kinds of other uh, supplementary cementitious materials mm -hmm. all kinds of things so yeah that's just one part of the puzzle an important part of the puzzle yeah, yeah. You know, that's just one part of this total, total strain puzzle yeah yeah and we run both well we don't run chemical shrinkage anymore but I know John, we you, would. You do. Yeah, I do. I do for uh, social media. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, as we, again, as we start doing things that are considered more exotic, I mean, as we start doing projects to reuse materials on site, we start mm -hmm. doing, trying to do more and more. Floating concrete, in the dark concrete. Yeah, you know, try to be more sustainable. We don't want to transport things. We have to use what we have local. So, there's going to be some questions when we do that. It's not like, you know, hauling in cement from, you know, the plant up in northern Colorado. I and mean, we've got some mm -hmm. questions now yeah. that we don't know the answer to yeah. without going to the lab and finding the answers. Yeah. So. Luckily, we have a lab right behind us. 
and luckily you know how to run this test and, <laughs> and we'll run, be running this test. Very true. And look forward to Hillary's future video on this test. Yep. Setting it up. It's it's a little tricky. It's, it's a, tedious. It's a little tedious to set it up. Mm -hmm. But it's a valuable piece of information. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of fun actually. Yeah. Little vials. Play with them. <laughs> yeah. I like small things. <laughs> there you go. Better you than me. I, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm the, the highway pavement, the 12 story building guy. So that, that's large scale. Large scale. That's yeah. what I am. And dams, as you know. Yeah. Yeah. So. The dam guy. We worked a lot on dams. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ding that bell for notifications. Go, Congress! And beat asphalt.